Okay, I'm just setting myself up and be leaving in a few minutes. I just decided to start this one up because it's an interesting little thing. Um, I review stuff on Amazon. It's not a living or anything. You get, you know, a couple of little bucks here and there. I, I can't get too deep into some of my reviews on Amazon. I'm surprised they let me anymore after these negative ass videos I've put out about the shit they've done for sending. Although this, this, you know what? I'm thinking about this shit with the negative ass videos that I've put out about their fuck ups. This now doesn't make any sense. And, and here's why. So a company reached out to me and asked me to review a product. Well, I actually couldn't use the product and I responded to them. I can't use this. I'm not going to put out a fake ass review just to get, you know, some little change or something. Okay. Their response was no worries. You can review our logistics chain to get to getting there. Okay, I can deal with that. So I, I get the product, can't use it. Don't even know where the hell the thing's at because if you've seen the mess of my home. But here's it, here's the thing. I just get the email, middle of the morning here, I'm going through my emails. Thanks for submitting, your cust for submitting a customer review. Thank you for submitting a custom review on Amazon. After carefully reviewing your submission, your review could not be posted to the website. It appears you reviewed shipping or packaging experience. So that must be something new. You can't review shipping and packaging experiences anymore, which means if I leave somebody a one-star review because the packaging was shit and, and beat up and shit didn't arrive, I can't re review it anymore. Think about this shit. So basically, instead of addressing issues, like I've discussed here before, like delivering a, uh, a package of ice cream mix that was completely empty. Sit there, I got it on video. I think I showed the video. The guy sitting there just looking at it, like saying that it's an empty ass package, he had a hole in the side and just threw it in my garage. That's the great thing about having this shit with the key delivery. I got cameras. Or uh, delivering where I ordered 16 um, hip flasks so I could laser them. And God just talk. First of all, I, I've noticed, I've talked about in previous videos, how they seem to, uh, when they have used shit, they don't put it into a regular uh, no, it's not like right, they just put a label on the shit and send it out. Put Throws it in my garage. The shit flops open, flips out, and you can see there's nowhere near 16 damn uh, flask in there. Shit on video now. Them delivering a used as fuck, used as fuck, $800 cough, uh, cappuccino machine. Used as fuck when I paid for a new one. And they sell them used for $200 less than I paid. I can't review this shit anymore. And the more I think about it, it's like, I mean, I just got this email seconds before I started this up. And I'm thinking about this shit more and more. So wait a minute. When, when shit comes fucked up, when I order new shit and you send me not just used, but used and fucked up shit. When I order a pack of 20 of something, you send a pack of 12, and then I go like, wait a minute, something ain't right. Uh, so I ordered again and sent another pack of 12, and by the second time I ordered, actually a day after the second time I ordered and had it, the listing's been changed from 20 items to 12. By the way, I, I captured all of that so nobody can get away with it. Got the screenshots but I can't review that now. Think about that shit. They're covering their own asses. Man, more I can do this, it's like, so look, let's see here. Uh, a few common issues to keep in mind. Your review should so focus on specific features of the product and your experience with it. Feedback on the sellers or your shipping experience Experience should be provided at, uh, hold on, they got a, a website for uh, 
HZ feedback. Oh, no, no. The feedback now goes to the... Oh, oh hell no. The feedback... Um, let me see. So I don't even know if this shit would like actually go to um Amazon now. I mean, to, so people can see it. What the fuck? So if it's about the feedback for that, I'm looking here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to resubmit this feedback, uh, submit the same feedback, and um, let's see what happens. But this this is strange. I, I, I think they're covering ass. Uh, you're not allowed to use profane or obscene content. That's what I'm here for. Uh, advertise promotional materials or repeat posts that make the same point excessively are considered spam. I agree with that. Please do not include URLs external to Amazon or personal identified content in your review. Uh, any attempt to manipulate community content or features, including contributing false, misleading, or inauthentic content is strictly prohibited. I'd love to see how they prove that shit. Um, yeah. I'm going to resubmit it using this link that they have there instead of the original link they sent me to ask for feedback. And I'll uh, see what happens. That's really interesting. Does anyone else find that interesting? How many of you have received fucked up shit from Amazon and now you can't review it for the fucked upness that they sent you a used product when you bought a new one? When it arrived all beat up and broke, half the shit broken, like with those um, salt and pepper shakers. I can't review that now. It's getting more and more interesting. So anyway, I'm getting ready to leave out for a little event um, down at South Point Casino. Uh, it's called, what, 17 Ways to Take the Summer or something like that. Let me see what this shit's called. Uh, okay, go like this. New market, new market, new plan, 17 ways to win this summer. So about to head out for that. <sighs> this just gets more interesting. I don't know what to say or do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, uh, that's all I'm going to say for today. Uh, hopefully I can get all this last week of videos out. Maybe, maybe I'll just uh, leak it out like two videos a day or three. That way it's not not this whole dump. So uh, day's the 24th. And uh, I was going to plan on doing something else this afternoon. But hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs>